We can't hear you. Uh, this is going to be very um, for uh, this conference. I don't understand his dialect. Restless again. Uh, maybe the mayor of the Hamlet was territories. Did you understand it fully? Uh, what do you think? <coughs> what did you think of the plebiscite and the results of the plebiscite? Could I ask a question? I think uh, you all understood that question uh, for myself. I'll try and answer you. For my sake, it was your personal vote. And they uh, voted for what they believed in. So they heard it uh, through the radio, and each community was aware of it. So they uh, voted for their best of ability, and I think maybe that's why they didn't answer you. <coughs> has arrived and I've seen him not just today but other times <coughs> and I don't want to lose my uh, land and I want the future gen generation to have a place for it also and this is my uh, way of thinking and I am happy for the rest of my uh, people and my children that they were able to vote for the plebiscite. And, and I would like for them to continue using our language and not lose it and able to 
that they should be able to learn things from us from us traditionally. Thank you. from Frobisher Bay. Again, uh, the question that was asked twice today uh, was Please speak loud. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we welcome the Commissioner on his visit to Palibay. And you are here to observe the ICI and the Elders Conference personally. And you probably have a better understanding of what the elders are concerned about and we are very grateful that you could come and see for yourself. We welcome you to the elders conference here in Pele Bay. And the elders present at this conference are here because they feel strongly for the future generations. <coughs> and I am sure that all the delegates are very pleased to see your presence here. As Commissioner of the NWT, <coughs> And you have heard some of the comments they have to make, but but it is too bad that uh, they could not say exactly why they were here. They, when they speak, they speak what they know. And if you could be of assistance if uh, there were to be any further elders' conferences, it would be appreciated. And having heard of your contribution to the conference with funding, we are very grateful. And I personally am seeing for the first time and hearing things for the first time from the different delegates. And to show our appreciation for your for your presence to see the conference, the Elders' Conference, I will be presenting you with a gift from, uh, on behalf of the community of Talebe. And it will be greatly appreciated if you will be able to contribute funding for further annual Elders' Conferences. I will be presenting you with a carving from Pele Bay on behalf of the people of Pele Bay. Thank you very much.
game before the white men arrived to the north uh, in our young days and uh, playing wolves outside in winter time and, uh, these were very enjoyable times for us Well, there's a lot of games <laughs> that I know of, uh, playing baseball and uh, uh, the traditional games. In summertime, <laughs> the games that were practiced are, if we could If we should get into them, there are so many of them, and I'm sure uh, other delegates would like to speak on this in our community area, our ancestors, our traditional games that we practice, used to fight uh, one another and wrestling the real men. And Uh, the elders used to watch us uh, playing the games and the younger watching, but uh, the young people also, also used to have their own, own games apart from the elders. They didn't uh, get aggressive or get mad one another uh, because they know it's just a game and uh, that, that was a competition uh, that was practiced and these were practiced in our olden days. Uh, We used to throw rocks, trying to uh, knock out uh, something that was quite a distance from us, and um, uh, it was still being practiced uh, a few years ago, and uh, hide-and-seek games, and 
uh, they were everything uh, playing with rocks, trying to knock out uh, a rock that was quite a distance from a person. And I might, I have other things, but uh, I'll give the others opportunity to speak on this subject. <coughs> the traditional games. Uh, concerning traditional games, we have a collected few. Uh, we also hold northern games in Northwest Territories and uh, uh, you'll be given a chance to look at this uh, material that the uh, northern Arctic games uh, have uh, practice. I'll pass it, we'll pass it along the delegates whether you should uh, make additional uh, games to this, northern games, if there should be any missing. I am interested in the, the games that you were talking about when you first spoke. You said that you played games with bone and and seal skin. Could, could, you, could, you, could you describe the game? And how you play the, what you did. What type of bones did you use? What Uh, he didn't hear you. He, he didn't understand you. He had it shut. And, and seal skin. And, and I was wondering what type of bones you used. And what you did with them. Did you play catch or what did you do? Uh, Did you play catch or what did you do? I said earlier, uh, seal shoulder blade bone. Uh, seal shoulder bones. Uh, we used to use them for, for games. And the uh, the skin didn't have any uh, hair or fur on it whatsoever. It was uh, carved. Uh, we made uh, an imitation of the seals out of it. And it had it had holes in it in the middle. And it had a hole in the middle and using a harpoon in it that inside the house uh, uh, pretending it was a seal itself. Outside, outdoors we used to play with uh, maybe a piece of meat, uh, uh, tied it with a, uh, hang it up with a string, and we used to practice harpooning it. Uh, this is was uh, was, in, was mentioned earlier as I was explaining, and and later the shoulder after when we didn't use the shoulder blade for uh, games uh, uh, that uh, piece of uh, bone uh, had holes in it and we used to make this as younger men, but uh, our, 
I don't know if the other communities were uh, using the same games as we did. When there's somebody speaking, please uh, don't talk too much. <laughs> Uh, speaking again, again from Hong Beach. I'd like to speak on the uh, traditional games from the experiences I have. When I was a young child, we used to be taught how to, to play games. As I'm just going to make additional comment on this statement. Uh, comment. Uh, using uh, using a uh, uh, seal shoulder blade. Uh, maybe you call it the hip uh, with a hole in it. And the bearded seals uh, skin or seals skin. Uh, you take out the fur of it. It's very smooth. And uh, you <coughs> make it, you, uh, my parents used to make it, make holes in it. Uh, there's three holes in it, uh, in straight line. And this is the, the uh, hip has a hole and you pretend it's a seal hole. So this is what we used to play uh, with when we were young men. You, make, you uh, harpoon it and when it got uh, stuck in there, it's, that's how we played it. And this was a traditional game uh, from Ivalik and Iglulik area. This was the, the, the game. This is what I'm aware of when I was a child. <laughs> the people used to say, say that we should we play this this partic particular game. The young men used to enjoy this game very much, and this is uh, what is what we practice in Baffin region. Was was the seal bone Dan, uh, natil, uh, uh, sounding a, I think you have to repeat what I said. Was the seal bone uh, hung from the ceiling? Sound a, sounding a bang at nipping of a lock bar. Or was it on the ground? Oh no, it only man up between the lock bar. There were two people playing the game. There's a uh, few young men, two of them, one young, one, one used to go, hi, uh, he has more than, he had more than one uh, seal in his hand. And if he didn't uh, hit it properly, then he would pass it on. Then the other guy would try and harpoon it. And that was the name of the game. And uh, this, uh, playing with the seal hole, there was a other person who was just observing the other guy who was playing, uh, trying to hit the, uh, the seal hole. <coughs> Uh, I understand his uh, speech very well because I, I used to play the game myself. It's, uh, we used it for educational purposes, uh, especially where you are near the ocean. And I didn't know whether it was educational stuff at that time, but uh, this is, uh, I remember when I started seal hunting that it was uh, a practice. Uh, pra uh, practicing for seal hunting. Uh. <laughs> 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 
I'm going to repeat the same thing as he did. Uh, we used to play the same thing in our community. <coughs> Especially for for the young men only. Like you have uh, real harpoons, uh, not original, but <coughs> for games. I have a seal hole in front of me, the uh, the hip of the seal, with a hole in it in the middle, and you hold it and. Like they look like real seal holes, so uh, it has a hole in the middle, a uh, man-made hole. Uh, if he didn't uh, hit the target, then then the other one tries it. So this is this is what we used to play. With. It was very enjoyable uh, after. They're through that they hit the spot, uh, and he tries every hole. And this this was the traditional game of the, our ancestors. It was our original game, and I don't want to go on about it too much. <coughs> Maybe the people from Western Arctic could explain some of their traditional games. Also, it would be most great. We would be most grateful. Maybe a different traditional games that you know of. And and also as people that have experiences in traditional games. If you could, are there any traditional games that you have taught to your children? And let us know of your uh, games that you have taught to your children, because we don't have any in our community. Um, Arctic Bay. In school, we have traditional games taught in schools. <coughs> also, in our community, we have the same thing. Not, for, not every everything, not every game, but <coughs> it's a similar thing in Baffin Island that we had. Uh, same sort of same traditional games in Baffin region. Wait. Can Is going to translate. I'm Ida Alika from Inuvik. Inuvik Mutawiyuma. I just want to say a few words uh, about the games the children played. There was a game we played when we were young. Um, using a carved piece of wood. It had a sharp uh, point. It was um, identical to the game of darts. Um, you had a board with holes in it, and you tried to no, I'm sorry, no hold. You, <coughs> uh, 
Uh, the piece of wood that is sharp, you tried to um, stand it up on the piece of flat wood. It's very similar like a dark, but uh, they use it as an educational uh, purposes too. Uh, they, they, they start uh, from the palm of the hand if it if it strikes the board and it stands up, then you turn your hand back and throw it up again. If it, uh, every time it uh, stands up, uh, and, uh, you then uh, you start from your <coughs> little finger right <coughs> through <coughs> to your, <coughs> to your <coughs> thumb. <coughs> and <then coughs> on your wrist, elbow, <coughs> shoulder, and <coughs> Then uh, you, you hold your your ear and uh, you throw it uh, under your arm and, uh, and you do the same thing with your left ear. And uh, the last one is uh, <coughs> you throw it from your Crown. Uh, that that that's the only cause of the sitting time in the container. And try to catch uh, somebody. Tell uh, The person you catch. Material uh, the same game. Tell the Tell the children that are playing uh, had a chance to be blindfolded. Uh, But what happens we used to make? We are supposed to be like the person we have 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 to be like
We would have a piece of rubber on the meat platform, and that would, and we would pretend it's the uh, seal ball. And that was one of the games we used to have inside. Um, he's referring to the word that they use for games, because it's different from the one that is normally being used in Inuktit. I'm wondering if the Natsilinyut and other regions would have similar or different games, and I think maybe we should come up with a common Inuktit word for such things. There's another game where two people take each other under the arm and try to fling, the, uh, fling their opponent. Maybe some kind of wrestling. And if we could, if we could come up with uh, the different games that used to be played in different regions, maybe we could exchange the other. <coughs> One of the games, wrestling games we had was trying, you'd have two people um, arms around each other and try to fling the other person behind, behind yourself. That was one game. If the person who was flung over fell over, stood up again, then the person who was just flung over can stand up and try to do the same thing to his opponent, but sometimes it was impossible for, for the winner to lose. We used to have this uh, punching contest on the shoulder. I think that uh, if uh, we could all find out what kind of uh, contests of strength they used to have, shall we go out and fight? Shall we go out and fight? Of course. <laughs> I would just like to say a few words on what was said earlier. The game we used to have, seal hunting game, is not being used at all anymore. And but we used to play it as children. It's already been explained, so I will not talk about it. I will not repeat what was said. But in our area, I can hardly hear. But today, there are hardly any traditional games that are played. They are no longer used, not in Cape Dorset at all. I think that if we could teach these traditional games, uh, children they are not existing anymore, but I think uh, we can teach them. <coughs> I would just like to talk about the seal hunting game. I would like to make additions to what was said. We in this area, or Eskimo Point.
I just wanted to answer. Like I was saying that these games are no longer played, and it was repeated by that man. I think that the only cultural institute is trying to record these games so that we will not forget them. I think we are here just to get some ideas as to what kind of things have not been recorded. from I can remember as a child there were two camps on each side. They would have four boats. They'd spend the spring down by the down when they went still hunting and when the people got together from those different camps. They were happy to be in one place and they would, they would have contests and the losers, the losers would, have, would be eliminated. There were two teams. The losers were eliminated, but they would try again. Call it Illumini. All the people would join in. They would all wrestle. And I used to, I used to join in the games. Nobody would get angry or mad. They were just having a good time. Some people would be trying to wrestle only one person, trying to get him down. And they would be on the ice. When they would get together again, the team or the camp that lost before would try again and regain their title. But when the ice would go away, they go back to the land and they would get together again on the or in the winter time they'd be on the ice. These are the kinds of games they used to play. Football. Before I go any further, I would like to say that there was all kinds of wrestling contests of strength when different camps got together in one spot. But we could not hear from that. Here we, they're banging their microphones again. I'm here to laugh. I'm just going to say a few words about the games we used to have. The boys' games were mainly in, um, were only hunting games. There was no contests at all. Those games are not played today. We used to, we used to do a lot of, we do a lot of caribou hunting. 
We used to sit on the cable and we would have paddles made of the caribou leg bones. The joints. We reduce the uh, caribou bone joints in this game as well. And those children who were good at this game became very good in, in using the kayak. They would have an easier time using the kayak. Children. And little boys, little, if little boys learn how to play this game, then the parents would build a kayak for the little boy, but only after he was skilled at this game. Some of them used to have a hard time staying upright. And we used to play this game in preparation for hunting caribou on the lakes or in the water by kayak. And I'm very familiar with this game, so this is the only one in telling you Raymond? Raymond? You're an old man. The games uh, to train children for hunting. Are there games that old people play? Do you remember any games that would be played by adults? Do you understand? Uh, wrestling, for instance, and it's being discussed, and these were the adult games. Adult games that were practiced. Is she asking about the adult games that were practiced in, in olden days? The, the adult games that were practiced in ineptitude. Uh, wrestling and for ourselves we used to have a whip trying to hit the, the ball with a whip 
not today, but that was the traditional game by the adults. And uh, competition with kicking the balls and uh, using the whip to hit the, the, the ball, trying to get it the furthest. Uh, uh, using a whip. Now, it was uh, mentioned earlier today. Uh, this is what I, uh, I know of. I think it seems like we're speaking of more. No, child. I don't know. How did the other delegates uh, play games? Adult, uh, games. Uh, I was taught of these uh, games by the adult. I played games with the adult plus learning at the same time from my elders. For myself, this was this is what I I practiced. I think this could be an educational uh, use in springtime when I was a young young child. Uh, it's no longer being practiced today. I it's probably could be sketched and. Uh, used uh, when I was a young man in springtime uh, in a puddle uh, we used to collect uh, seal bones uh, quite a few uh, we used to try and knock them out uh, with a with a rock uh, this was very enjoyable that was the competition to knock out who would knock out most uh, this is uh, uh, so a seal skin sling was used also, and I'm try, I tried I try to get my younger kids to use that. Uh, it's a seal skin sling that you, could, you used it for uh, geese hunting, uh, put a rock in the middle and sling the, the goose or the geese. Yeah. And like today, the young guys have uh, Shark and toys. And they would uh, throw it very far using your arm and your hand. That was the, the traditional games. It's a seal skin sling. <laughs> Our traditional games that we uh, used to play, it's all similar, it's all similar in Baffin Island games, and before we go hunting, oh, who would go hunting first is what used to be practiced. I think this would be a uh, helpful hint too. And the sealskin sling, slings were, were also practiced by us and trying to uh, get uh, somebody to throw the farthest. And uh, we used to make uh, arrow uh, out of uh, caribou bones. And after we got 22 rifles, uh, we used to kill birds with stones. And the, uh, the uh, small birds. And uh, later on, we used to uh, hunt with stones for ptarmigans also, and, and also we used it on rabbits years ago. And this was taught by our parents in old days. These were, these were practiced, thank you, in our traditional games.